So, Bungie announced on their weekly This Week at Bungie blog post that a Destiny 1 redacted raid is being released in Destiny 2 on August 26th. So that begs the question, which raid is returning? I'm going to be laying out all the evidence and hints for the returning raid we have gotten over the past two years for both King's Fall and Wrath of the Machine. But first, how do we know that either King's Fall or Wrath of the Machine is returning and not Crota's End? Well, in an interview with PC Gamer on September 1st, 2021, Destiny 2 game director Joe Blackburn said, So it's really about the complexity of bringing the raids from Destiny 1 to Destiny 2. I think by saying it will be one of the big raids, that takes one out of the equation. Since Vault of Glass is already in Destiny 1, and Crota's End is the smallest of all D1 raids, it is safe to say that Crota is out of the picture. So let's get to the evidence for King's Fall and Wrath of the Machine. And you may be surprised to see that one of these seems far more likely to be reprised than the other. First... King's Fall. What is the evidence? To be honest, not much. There are very little concrete hints or evidence that this raid is returning. The likelihood of this raid returning lies mostly in convenience more than anything else. But nonetheless, here we go. The first bit of convenience lies in the raid exotic Touch of Malice. Touch of Malice has not been reprised into Destiny 2, unlike Outbreak Perfected. Meaning that if Wrath were to return, Bungie would have to design a whole new raid exotic. The second bit of convenience lies in the enemy types. In King's Fall, you mainly fight Hive and Taken, which are obviously already in Destiny 2, unlike in Wrath, where Bungie would have to reprise an entire enemy type in the form of the Siva Splicers, for the raid to fully return. The only hint in-game lies in the Altar of Reflection, Two Lies, Two Truths mission found on Savathun's throne world that hints at the Taken King's return. Listen to this. Shall we play a game? Two lies, two truths. Mercury, Io, and Titan are in my care. The Witness returned Mars to your solar system. The power to move worlds will soon be yours. The Taken King will rise again. You Guardians are so clever. Tell me, what is true? And what is false? And, with Witch Queen being this year's expansion, bringing back Oryx, Savathun's brother, might not be that big of a stretch. Let me know if I missed any evidence for King's Fall in the comments. This is all I could find. Let's move on. Unlike King's Fall, Wrath actually has quite a few hints in-game related to the possible return of Siva. First, a Rasputin-themed season has been hinted at for a very long time. Last season, at the end of the Exotic Lave quest on the Investigation Board at the Enclave, there was a text box hinting at a place called Nephele Stronghold that was hidden away by Rasputin during the Collapse. Since Siva is Warmind related, I can see the possibility of it coming back for that season. Also, in the Witch Queen reveal live stream back in August 2021, Bungie hinted at Warmind themed weapons, specifically the Seventh Seraph weapons, being craftable. It is also hinted in the lore and a Bray has been attempting to put Rasputin into the body of an Exo, which may also be a subtle hint that we may be returning to the Deep Zone Crypt on Europa at some point. Which leads me to my next point, the return of Aramis in a Fallen related season. During the Beyond Light campaign and our final battle with Aramis, you may notice that we do not kill her. She is merely frozen in stasis. You can even see that her health bar doesn't deplete when we beat her. It is confirmed in the lore that Aramis is still alive and her return has already been hinted to occur sometime this year. During the fourth iteration of the Vox Obscura exotic mission on Mars, there is dialogue that predicts the events of this year some of which has already come true. Have a listen. This latest transmission from Eurix shows the same images over and over, flashing almost too quickly to perceive. Ah, these must be psionic divinations, impressions of things yet to come. I see a city besieged, the ship stealer revived. The Leviathan Reborn. Your Traveler, infected by darkness, 
These are the futures our enemies seek. We must remain united if we are to forge a different path. For those who don't know, the ship stealer is Aramis's title. And as seen in this season, the Leviathan has in fact been reborn. And for those of you deep in Destiny lore, you already know that Aramis was responsible for the fallen raid on the tower's vault during the zero hour mission when Aramis's troops tried to reclaim Siva by stealing the outbreak perfected exotic weapon. Since the fallen, Aramis and Rasputin all have close ties to Siva, I can see how all of these storylines could intersect into one Siva slash Warmind themed season resulting in the return of Wrath of the Machine. It may also be important to mention that we have fallen splices on our side like Mithrak, who may return in a fallen based season to help us deal with her Sputin and Siva. So what are my thoughts? Well, despite Wrath having much more in-game evidence to support its return, I do still believe it is a toss-up. Which raid returns all depends on whether Bungie wanted to spend more time developing Wrath or go the slightly easier route and develop King's Fall. However, I do have one personal theory that may support the return of Wrath of the Machine. This theory is based upon the question of why? Why is Bungie hiding which raid is returning next season? It's a six-year-old raid. What could you possibly gain from keeping it a secret for so long? Unless, whichever raid is returning could possibly spoil what is coming next season and beyond. If you recall, last year, the Vault of Glass returned during a Vex-themed season. This doesn't mean that the returning raid is tied into the seasonal story, but if this pattern continues, then revealing the raid reveals the theme of the season. So, if Bungie were to reveal that Wrath was returning, then that would effectively reveal that the Siva Splicers are returning and I find it highly unlikely that if Wrath were to return and bring back Siva Splicers, that the Siva Splicers would be completely unused outside the raid. You pick up what I'm putting down here? We know we are getting a Warmind themed season at some point, and we know that Siva is directly related to Rasputin. So if we know it's Wrath, then we know Rasputin is coming back, and Bungie would probably want to keep that a secret until the reveal. That's all from me, folks. I hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, maybe leave a like and subscribe uh but let me know what you think is coming next in the comments below hope you guys have a good day much love and uh peace out